Now, I'm just letting you know you rocking that red, my sister. I think. Yes, ma'am, you are. Wear it, wear it well. Thank you. <laughs> oh, girl, what you talking about? Look at, uh, hey, Walmart. Will him buying all this stuff? Oh, he lied. Good morning, everybody. Let's go ahead and bring it all in right now. Amen. We bless the Lord on this morning. We hope and pray everyone is doing well this morning. Amen. We bless God. God is great. He is greatly to be praised. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in, guys. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Everybody's getting ready for the trades team that's getting ready to do their thing. Amen. Amen. So I think we're getting ready to get started. So let me flip this camera, y'all. Blessings to everyone. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Blessings. Alright, guys. Bless God for the praise team today. Amen. 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 Come on in and share, 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 guys. I need y'all to share this broadcast. Amen. Come on in and tap this screen. Listen, this goal for this broadcast is 15,000 likes. Amen. That's your goal. We pray that everyone enjoy the service on today. Come on in, share, share, share. Those who are in the FYP, come on in, come on in. Amen. Amen. We bless God. We just got a new sound system. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> so y'all come on in, come on in. Amen. I ain't done that, I, I promise. I ain't right here. I ain't touching nothing. Before we get started um, with our morning worship, just a few house rules, um, just a few suggestions. Um, no eating, no drinking, unless you have water in the sanctuary. We understand the babies. Um, but the candy paper and all that, we have to clean up behind ourselves. Now, we are in charge of everything. So we ask that you be mindful, even if you do need a peppermint or anything like that, that you pick up behind yourself. Um, our ushers have already seen trash laid around and clean it up. So we just want to set the house in order. Treat God's house with decency and order. Amen. 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 Let's lift God. Let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. We thank God for even having a building to praise his name. Hallelujah. We thank God for being a people. Hallelujah. We thank God for being a way maker. Hallelujah. God has showed up and showed out. Hallelujah. I know for some it's been a trying week, but God, hallelujah. It's been a trying morning, but God, hallelujah. We owe God a praise this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We had a time in here on last Sunday, hallelujah. The chains have been broken, hallelujah. Souls have been set free and many must deliver, hallelujah. I can attest that God is good, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. They may not seem the way we expect them to be, but God, he's all-knowing. He's all-powerful, he's all-knowing, hallelujah. We got to trust him. We got to trust the process, whatever you may be going through. Trust God in the process. Hallelujah. 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 We're going to open up with prayer from Mother Greg. Amen. Amen. the rest. 
resurrected spirit, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the regenerated spirit this morning, God. Lord, we thank you for the Holy Spirit this morning, God. Lord, we thank you for the rivers of living waters this morning, Lord. That go, Lord Jesus, that came from your throne to your throne, Lord. Bless you, Jesus. Bless you, Jesus. We bless you now for the overflow, praise God. Continuously, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the living water. We thank you, Lord, for the 
gone somewhere. But you want to thank God he saw different. Well, I'm so glad. Now, where y'all standing? I don't have to have three people who tell them, trouble don't last always. Y'all fellowship, look at me. Trouble don't last always. I'm so glad. Go tell everybody. Come on, let's bang with those. I'm so glad. Yeah, this sound good in here.
First-time visitors, your first-time visitor, visitor. I want you to stand for me. This your first time at House of Freedom. I want you to stand. Amen. We want to welcome you, stand with We want to welcome you to House of Freedom Worship Center, where if you want to be free, this is the place to be. Amen. You could have been anywhere else. Yes, yes. 50,000, 50, 11 churches in Savannah. You chose House of Freedom, but guess what? Freedom looked good on oh, you. Yes. Come on, let's give them a hand clap of praise. Freedom looked good on you. We're going to put something in your hand. We, we used to give our bags, but the way our checking account and saving account was set up. Oh, All that money, our checking account would take three days to get to our safe. <laughs> We thank you all for coming. I mean, if you want to care to say anything, we're going old school today. Oh, um. <laughs> okay. All right. My name is Carolyn Jackson Jones. Mm -hmm. And that's my other daughter, uh, Dr. Son. Mm -hmm. And his wife. Amen. Amen. And, See, half of us be, half of us swipe and be praying, Lord, let it go through. Swipe it by 
That's why Kerry Hill don't take checks anymore because we used to write them checks and walk out of people's clothes. You swiped the card and it went through. I said, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, because he's given us everything that we need. And it sounds good, amen? amen. My, my next step is to get us some monitors up here. But they say I'm going too far, but. That's right. <laughs> Look at the old folks start talking. Yeah, that's right, amen. <laughs> I stopped thinking all kinds of things. You know, because when the, when the car actually go through, you start buying stuff. You really don't even need it, oh, we got it. But I start to, and I just want to enhance our worship and what, what we have here. Amen. Amen. So we have also, remember, on the 31st, Wednesday, August 31st, we over at Happy Homes celebrating their church anniversary. We are in charge of service. Amen. Amen. Happy Home Baptist Church. So we won't have Bible study here that Wednesday. We'll be at Happy Home. Amen. 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 You asking a question? Oh, no, 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 no. Um, also, fourth Sunday, fourth Sunday, we have our uh, freedom retreat here. So we won't have regular service. We'll be in retreat. And I need all our members, every last one of our members, to be here. We will have breakfast served for you. Um, but this is the way that we're going to learn and get everybody involved in our ministries. We have different ministries, us support and all this. We have all our ministries open, and we need to get everybody involved. Everybody need to be involved in something. And so I took, God showed me to take that Sunday, instead of having service, and get people involved. Amen. Our church only going to be what we make it. Amen. And we have been just having service, and it's been good, and we've just been going, but now we need some structure. So that's Sunday we're going to break down the structure of how we're going to operate and communicate. Amen. 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 So if you don't come that Sunday, don't get mad if you don't get, uh, you try to get through when you can't because you don't know the channel. All right. Obedience is better. You got to be obedient. It got to be somewhere. We got to have something going on. I know we free before. We were taking free. A little too free. Amen. Somebody say Amen. Amen. But freedom look good on you, though. Yes, Amen. But we got to do things in this, Lord. And we have it, but we just want to make it a little more better than what, what we're doing. We want to give God a little more than what we're giving him. Amen. Amen. I'm so proud of you all. Yesterday, I had the privilege and, and the honor of, uh, I had two, two funerals I had to do yesterday. And when I got done last night, it made me think of you all. Because we take life for granted so much. There's some people we buried yesterday wish they could have got up this morning. There's some people wishing they could get to the house of the Lord. And we have the opportunity and we don't take full advantage of it. And it just, it just had me thinking of my own self. and say how much we waste time and how much we, we don't take full opportunity of God really blessing our lives. Even in the midst of what you're going through, as long as God gave you breath, yeah. you still can make it. Yeah. Yeah. In other words, God even say, even if, even what you're dealing with, as long as you have, have breath in your body, you have no excuses. Because he said that everything that has breath. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. So I just want us to think about that because I don't want the main time you come to church because we're rolling you in here. All right. Mm. While you can walk in here, you need to come. And, that, and that's real talk. Somebody say real talk. Real talk. While we can see you and not view you, yeah, that's right. you need to be in the place. Amen. 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 Let me tell you another way. I put it this way for those who, who, who want the beach. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Man, I'm in a doghouse for another week. <laughs> that beach rolled out my tongue. I ain't gonna say that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I take that back. Oh. I still love you, Pastor. Yeah, I wasn't even thinking about y'all. I'm talking about my wife. Eh? I can deal with y'all. I gotta go home with y'all. <laughs> uh, but listen, why you can see back, not only just be viewed, but why you can actually see somebody yourself, you ought to come in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. 
So it's offering time. It's offering time. And as we... Oh, yeah, Tuesday. I'm sorry. Tuesday uh, at 6.30 at, our, um, at the building in Pooler is youth. You know, next Sunday is youth Sunday. So youth choir will be practicing this Tuesday at 6.30. Next Thursday, Thursday coming up is our marriage uh, marriage ministry meeting. Uh, so be on the lookout for that, marriage folks. Um, but this Tuesday is youth. Our youth will be practicing. So please bring out the youth. We have... We have so many things going on with our youth where all our youth can get, get involved. Every ministry we have for adults is lined up for the youth as well. We got Minister Tasha Dawn, we got Sister Dion in the back. We have all our youth advisors that's prepared to handle our youth. We gotta get them involved. Amen? Amen. We gotta get them involved. And so get, get them here, get them in places, get them in. And guess what? Stop asking them. Tell them what they gonna do. Man, our mom ain't asked us nothing, but you better get up there and, and fix your face. <laughs> fix your face. And you better start that crying before I give you something. <laughs> oh, boy, our mom was dangerous. <laughs> and that's our problem. We give our kids too many options. We need to tell them what they're going to do. It's going to make them a better person down the line, I promise you. I thank God I got dragged to church because I'm here now. Yes. Amen. Amen. And so let us all stand. It's offering time. And as the offering come around, our children go to Children Church. Children Church has been um, is ready for you all from ages from 2 to 10. 2 to 8, I'm sorry. 2 to 8. 2 to 8. Ages 2 to 8 can go to, school, can go to class as you come around with the offering. Follow the directions of the usher. thousand dollars and that gives us our three hundred dollars three hundred thousand we need for our building 
Amen. So those who are on Facebook, those who like to participate, those who want to sponsor, just want to bless our church. Um, we can give and participate in that. Amen. Amen. Let us all stand. Giving, our giving is so important. Our giving is so important. Because God has something great for us. And I just really, truly, I just don't want to go to a bank when we have it right here in the house. Amen. Everything we need, God has shown me, is in the house. Yes. And I'm just trusting God to touch your heart just right. To be a cheerful giver. Y'all yeah, know I'm, I'm not a money person at all. I don't beg, beg, and I don't give false prophecies to make you give. Just whatever you want to bless the Lord with, I'm asking you to do it. And watch how God bless you. Do it. Amen? Because God is going to do it. He's going to get the glory out of the house of freedom. And I love the fact that we started from the bottom because 10 years from now, we're going to look back over this thing. And we're going to be able to show the world what God can do. Amen. Amen. That's what I get joy about. That we're going to be able to look back over. This is the memories. We are building memories. We are having fun. And what looks like chaos yes. is God's putting the jigsaw puzzle together. Yes. You ever notice when you get a puzzle, you come and throw all the pieces on the table. And then just little bit by little bit, he start putting it together. We start buying new equipment. We get a chance to keep our lights so on. We buy different things. We do that. Just a puzzle coming together. So when it finally get just right, we can show this world that Jesus is Lord. Yes. Can we give God a hand and have a prayer? Yes. Yes. It's not about us, but it's all about Him. And we all are taking part of something that's bigger and greater than us. Because this ministry is going to be a ministry for ages to come. What we're doing now is for our grandkids who ain't even been born yet to be able to worship. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this offering. We thank you for every heart that gave and every every hand that touched the basket, God. We thank you for them being cheerful givers. God, and I pray, God, that you look past our faults today and supply every last one of our needs. Thank you, God, for this seed that they sown has been put on good ground. Lord God, can't nobody do us like you. And I pray, God, whatever they stand in need of today, God, you bless them. And do what only you can do. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Grab your Bibles. I wanted to look like a pastor today. Thank you, thank you, thank you, God. We're going to Genesis 22. I don't have much today. We're going to be out of here. Yeah, I ain't got much today. I ain't got much today. Thank you all for those who came at nine and helped us set up. It was a quick process. Amen? Amen. It was a very quick process. And we're grateful. And, and I love the fact that we have to set up and break down because that's God's way of teaching us how to be servants. Yeah. Amen. Man, a, a church that a church that serves is a church that grows. Yeah. Because it teaches you how to humble yourself and in due season, God will exalt you. Yeah. You can't be so high and mighty that you can't move a chair. Yeah. Ooh, we in trouble then. You can't move a chair or something wrong. But I'm grateful for what God is doing. Genesis chapter 22. Y'all, this is a very familiar story. Man, if y'all just have a seat, I'm going to read a little minute. Yeah. I felt like y'all need some relief. I see how slow y'all got up. Y'all like, we going to do this? No. Yeah, yeah. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Genesis. I want you to open your minds up today because I want you to get this. 
And God brought you here today because this is something you needed to hear. Amen. I'm reading from the New Living Translation, starting verse number three. It says, the next morning, Genesis 22, verse number three. The next morning, Abraham got up early. He saddled his donkey and took two of his servants with him, along with his son Isaac. Mm -hmm. Then he chopped wood for a fire mm -hmm. for a burnt offering mm -hmm. and set out for the place of God had, for the place God had told him about. Yes. On the third day of their journey, Abraham looked up and saw, y'all circle verse number four, looked up and saw the place in the distance. Mm -hmm. Stay here with the donkey, Abraham told the servant. The boy and I will travel a little further. We will worship there, and then we will come right back. Mm. Verse number six says, So Abraham placed the wood for the burnt offering on Isaac's shoulder. Mm -hmm. While he was carrying himself, listen, I'm sorry, while he himself carried the fire and the knife. Yeah. And as the two of them walked on together, Isaac turned to Abraham and said, Father, Yes, my son, Abraham replied, we have the fire and the wood, the boy said, but where is the sheep for the burnt offering? Verse 8 saying, God will provide a sheep for the burnt offering, my son, Abraham answered, and they both walked together. Verse number 13, verse number 13, jump down, verse number 13. Mm -hmm. It says, then Abraham looked up and saw a ram caught by its horns in a thicket. So he took the ram and sacrificed it as a burnt offering in place of his son. Abraham named that place mm -hmm. Jehovah Jireh, which means the Lord will provide. Yes. To this day, people still use this name as a proverb. On the mountain of the Lord, it will be provided. Mm -hmm. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, Lord, for your grace and your mercy today. And we thank you for your loving kindness. We just thank you, God, for being our God. Kind of Father, now I decrease as you increase in me. I pray, God, you'll speak to me and through me for your people. God, I pray, God, that you'll open up our hearts that we may receive. Deposit in us this morning. Give us revelation. Give us wisdom. Give us knowledge. Give us understanding. And in all our getting, God, help us today to get understanding. Let lives be changed. Souls be saved. God, have your way today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I'll take a moment. I want y'all to share this. Go to our Facebook page. Put your phone in your hand anyway and share it. <laughs> Let's get this word out today. Amen. Amen. I want to deal with verse number. I want you to highlight verse number 13, but but I want to deal with verse number five. It says, Stay here with the donkey, Abraham told the servant. The boy and I will travel a little further. We will worship there, and then we will come right back. Yeah. Verse number six says, so Abraham placed the wood for the burnt offering on Isaac's shoulder yeah. mm -hmm. while he himself carried the fire and the knife. And as the two of them walked on together, I want to deal with a subject just for a brief moment, break up to make up. I love it. Break up to make, make up. up. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, man, neighbor, <laughs> break up, break up. To, make up. to make up. No, no, that, that, that neighbor think about Martin. Look at the neighbor behind you and say, neighbor, neighbor. I got the break up to make up. I wish I'd get this today. Come on, give God a hand clap of praise. I got the break up to make up. I really... I really want you to get this today because Genesis now is the is the book of the beginning. Yes. This talks about how God stepped out on nothing and made something. Yes. And that's why can nobody convince me that our lives are so bad that God can't make something out of it. Yes. Can I get an amen there? Amen. Because if God can make something out of nothing, he can take my life and make something out of it. We are in the eighth month, which is the number of new beginnings. Yeah. And no matter where you are in life, God can make a new beginning right where you are. Yeah. I want to encourage somebody today because a lot of us are going through some things. Yeah. 
A lot of us are dealing with some issues, and I like to call it a toxic relationship. That's why we got to break up, because a lot of us in here are in toxic relationships. You in toxic relationships, not only just with other people, but within yourself. Someone's got sickness in our body, that's a toxic relationship. And if you let it hang on long enough, it'll mess around and try to kill you. A lot of us are dealing with things that's tearing us down emotionally as well as spiritually. Yeah. Can we just take a moment and realize it took a whole lot for us to get here this morning? Yeah. Because you was battling within yourself and battling with what you were dealing with because with what goes on in your life tries its best to stop you from worshiping. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I could be in the house for a minute today. Yeah. Don't you realize you don't catch that much hell till Sunday morning? All right. All right. The devil don't stop you from going to work. The devil don't stop you from going to the club. The devil don't stop you from going to get your hair, nail, and toes done. But you don't seem to get that headache until the time to wake up for Sunday morning. Oh, I wish I had a church in here today. The knees don't bother you until it's time to, to worship. Lord help Jesus. You've been dropping it like your heart all week. Now it's time to bend your knee, now you can't do it. That's a toxic relationship. Uh, boy, one thing I realized about God, God gonna get it out you one way. Is that the name of Jesus, no matter how much icy heart you got, no matter how many pills you take, your knee is gonna bow. And so God is teaching us today that we have to make up to break up. Yeah. Now in verse 4, you will see now that God is testing Abraham's faith. Yeah. Yeah. We are in the testing faith season at House of Freedom. Yeah. Because God is trying to see in your life how bad do you really want it. Yeah. How bad do you really want to be saved? How bad do you really want to be delivered? How bad do you really want to make it into heaven? Yeah. You know why? Because we've been taught for years that we're going to heaven just anyhow. Y'all know y'all not heard that. Yes, sir. We going to heaven just anyhow. And we, as long as we can live our life the way we want to live it, and we going to go to heaven anyway. I come by to tell you that's not so. Because right. the Bible says a liar can't tarry in the sight. And that's just one thing. Right. Mm. I ain't going to go down the rest. We'll be here. Everybody leave the church. <laughs> That's why I thank God that, that if you ever just look in the mirror at yourself, you don't have room to be talking about nobody else. Because if you are too busy trying to make it to heaven, it don't matter what nobody else is doing because my mind and my heart is stayed on Jesus. The songwriter said this morning, I woke up with my mind stayed on Jesus. I realized that if I learn how to mind my own business, I'll stay with my feelings less being hurt. Jesus. If you learn how to mind your own business, it don't matter who invites you and who don't. If you learn how to mind your own business, it don't matter what happens, God is really for you. And I realize sometimes you got to thank God you didn't get invited because you don't know what took place there. He says today, I need you to break up because it's time to make up. In the text now, God showed Abraham the mountain, ain't it something? Whenever you see a mountain, there's always a valley. Yeah. And in order to get to the mountain top, you first got to go through the valley. Yeah. Jesus. That's why I love House of Freedom, because God is testing who will be with us, because if you can't handle the valley, you ain't ready to stand on the mountain. You got to be able to handle your valley experience so God can trust you with the mountain. Yeah. Just, I believe David said, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. But I read that scripture and he said, I will fear no evil, but he never said, I wouldn't feel no evil. Yeah. Oh, boy, listen here. When you worry that God, when you understand God didn't give you the spirit of fear, then you'll get out your feelings. Yeah. Come on, you may feel some things, but you shouldn't fear nobody but God. Hallelujah. In other words, you want to look at your neighbor and say, I don't care what's going on, but I ain't never scared. I ain't never scared to tell God thank you. I ain't never scared to clap my hands. I ain't never scared to say, for God I live and for God I die. Yeah, I might be broke, but blessed be the name of the Lord. Yeah, I might got cancer, but blessed be the name of the Lord. Yeah, my children might be crazy, but blessed be the name. You got to learn how to praise until you feel better. 
I know I got a headache, but I'm going to praise him because ibuprofen ain't going to help me. I might well praise God till he make me feel better. Because you got to you got to be able to to work the valley to get to the mountain top. Don't abort your mission because you can't handle the valley. It's in the text. He said, "I need you." And so while he's sitting in the valley, he shows Abraham the mountain. Ain't it something God will show you your outcome while you're still going through? Jesus. Mm. I, I got like at least three people slap somebody. In here. Ain't it, ain't it something how God is showing your ending while you're still going through? Yeah. God, God, God is showing you he'll make a way out of nowhere while you still don't know how it's going to happen. Yeah. That's why the songwriter say, I don't know how, I don't know when, I don't know where, but one thing I do know, God is going to make a way for me. Yes, sir. I know it looked dark right now, but I see light somewhere. Well, he says this. I need you to understand this because we're in a toxic relationship, and I need you to break some things up. Yeah. Right. Because the only way we're going to make it, we got to break it up. And some of us need to go to our family and say, It's me, it ain't you. God is working on me. Man, I, I had to learn that even dealing with my own children and dealing in my own marriage and dealing on my job, I realized God is working on me. Because for the last month, I kept asking God, God, why me? Yeah. Wow. So I ain't the only one in here that be asking God why I'm going through this. Yeah. Why you put me in this family? Yeah. Why you gave me these kids? Jesus. Why you ain't told me to go to sleep that night? Lord, help! <laughs> 15 minutes turned to a lifetime. <laughs> Why, 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 why am I going through this? I gave them all my heart and they stepped on it. Why am I going through this? Anybody, anybody, and why do my people think you can't question God? If you question your mom and daddy, you can't question God. God wants you to ask a question so he can let you know what's going on. That's how you get understanding is asking God. Come here, get in, get in, say, God, I don't get this. Listen, if you want me to do it, God, then make the fleece wet and the ground dry. Yeah. All right, come on, get in. Well, y'all, y'all, man, God, God just ain't no play. Man, God, if you want to know, say, God, listen, if you want me not to kill this boy, help me. Amen. Oh, I, Jesus. I wish I could be so deep. If you don't want me to go up in here and set it out, make my tire flat this morning. Cause I done been practicing all night long How about to go over here and Mr. Johnson got one more time To say something to me And I'm slapping everybody up here So Lord, before if you don't want this to happen Wake me up just a little late this morning Let me tell you how God will operate Let me tell you how God will really do Why God working on you God will remove what's hindering you Cause God got jokes, God, God got jokes too. Tell me God, God to wake you up on time. Yeah. Let you practice your speech. <laughs> you get to work on time, and the person you gonna cuss out ain't even showing up. <laughs> so now you can't do nothing but take a moment and examine yourself and say, Lord, it's me, it's me. I'm standing in the need of. Oh Lord, I wish I had a church in here. It ain't my mother, it ain't my father, but it's me, oh Lord. I'm standing. Because you won't even let me kill my own self. Jesus. I need you to break up. I need you to understand what's going on. He's in the valley, but he sees the mountain top. And you got to realize, you know, where we're going. You got to break up with some stuff. I don't care if you got to break up with it on text message. I don't care if you got to send y'all subliminal messages through Facebook. I don't care if you got to talk to me loud enough so they hear you. You know how y'all do. Y'all talk to more straight to people. You talk to your cousin so you can hear loud enough. You know they listen to you. It don't matter. God said, I need you to break up some stuff. Because if we going to make it to this mountain top, if you're going to make it to your best life, you got to break up the makeup. What you got to break up? First thing, you got to break up with who you with. Mm -hmm. 
Come on. Oh, Jesus. Y'all, y'all keep your Bibles open. Now, we're going we gonna to walk through the Bible. In verse number four, look, listen at what happened. Verse number five, Abraham says, stay here yeah. with the donkey. Yeah. He told his servant before. Well, Abraham, in verse number four, he saw where he was going. All right. So his next move was to break up with what he was, who he was with. Yeah. He told the servants and the donkeys, y'all stay here. Yeah. Oh, boy, this thing going to get y'all this morning. Because God said, if you really want to go further, there's some people in your life. You got to say, listen, stay here. I'm moving. Yeah. Listen, you should never make somebody, you should never let somebody run you out your position. Jesus. I'm not leaving my house now. You got to go. He says, I need you to stay here. Because the things you walking with is stationary. You can't move with stational or stationary things and people. You know, even as a church, and I can say this to y'all, because I don't even care. Oh, Jesus. Amen. Some of y'all is like mannequins. All right. And we got to pick you up and. All right. Okay. Lord help. Come on. Come on. Y'all, 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 y'all. Lord help. In the mall. Let me get my mic because it sounds so good. In the mall. We <laughs> <laughs> pay a couple of G's, cheap. In the <laughs> now I can't pay the fine. In, in the mall. <laughs> When you see mannequin dress, they stand in one position. Yep. Right. Yeah. Because they're trying to put on a show for a look. Yeah. Oh, right. Jesus. And that's how some Christians are today. Oh, you just here for a look. You here. Ain't it funny how you can change your clothes, but your position still be the same? Yeah. So every Sunday, you don't really want no breakthrough, so you here just in a different suit. You done been to church all your life and you still doing the same thing you hear. Jesus. You know every hymn, you know every scripture, but yet you still living the life how you live and you hear. You got the form of God in this, but you denying the power therein. You a mannequin. And the only thing move you is what grooves you. And you ever notice a mannequin never go forward, it only goes sideways. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, now you ain't doing a 190, you're doing a 360, and wonder why you keep doing the same thing over and over again because you ain't got what you need. But the day God said you need to break that up so I can make you. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Says, Come on, sir. Says, break up with what you Jesus. But you win. Yeah. Because everybody can't go. Listen, y'all, everybody can't go. I'm learning that. Even as a church, everybody can't see what you see. The Bible said God showed Abraham the top of the mountain. I keep telling y'all, your call and your purpose of life, it wasn't a conference call. God showed you what your life is for your life. That's why quit being apologetic. You living your best life. Quit letting people think and say what you should and should not do. You, this is my life. I tell people all the time, quit telling me to turn my air down. You don't pay no bills in here. If you cold, bring a heater. Don't let the door hit you. Lord, help. Well, but it's a, how you let people tell you how to run your house and they ain't paying no bills? Please don't tell me not to want my kids. If you want to raise them, come get them. But don't tell me how to handle my business if you ain't walked a day in my shoe. Why you gonna tell me how to tie my shoelaces if you ain't never walked a day in my shoes? If you ain't going through what I'm going through, if you ain't been where I've been, if you ain't at where I'm at, please keep your opinions to yourself. Until you can give me some facts, then keep your opinion to yourself. Well, I hate when people come tell me something you ain't been through what I've been through. Lord help. If you ain't never smoked no dope, quit telling me I can get off snow. If you ain't never drunk no liquor, quit telling me I can't be sober. If you ain't never been through it, you can't help me through nothing. He says, let me, let me get back. I'm trying to be a pastor today. He says, oh, Lord. He said, second thing. Mom, I'm going now. Second thing, he said, not only do I need you to break up with who you with, because I realize everybody ain't your friend. Well, God will let you go through hell so you'll see who with you or not. That's right. That's right. That's right. It, it 
remind me, I love this lady to the day she died. But she remind me how friends do. Her name was Sister Evelyn Wade. One day the car broke down. I gave her a ride. I was on our way to church. I had my old Cadillac. The car just straight cut off. We all out there pushing the car. Sister Evelyn sitting in the car. She, she wasn't no light lady. Now. She had a little meat on her now. The Cadillac already heavy. So we pushing her and the Cadillac. And that's how some friends is. You think they gonna get out and help you. You'll learn who really your life when you start breaking down. And you'll find out who gonna be there to push you out the way and get you where you need to go or who's just there for the ride. Some folks you think walking with you, you actually carrying them. That's why they won't let you out their sight because they don't have you, they don't have nothing. The second thing he says, not only do I need you to break up with who you with, but I need you to break up with what you're carrying. I ain't gonna holler today, I'm just gonna shoot y'all. I ain't gonna shoot y'all today, calm down. You might get put off Facebook, I said, we're gonna shoot. We're not shooting anybody on Facebook, do not uh, put us in jail. He said, you, you got to, you got to break up with what you are carrying. Yeah. Ooh, this is going to be a hard pill to swallow. The Bible says, this is not this, in verse number six. Yeah. So Abraham placed the wood for the burnt offerings on Isaac's shoulders. Yeah. Abraham stopped carrying the heaviest thing he had in his hand. Well, y'all got to get that. He says, yeah, I need yeah. you to break up with what you're carrying. The most heaviest thing that you have, I need you to put it on Isaac's shoulders. All right. mm. What is he saying? Isaac represents Jesus. Yeah. Okay. Isaac was the, the only son, the promised son, who he would take, who he was taking up there to sacrifice. Yeah. He says, on your way to the top of the mountain, take the heavy stuff off your hands yeah. and put it on Jesus' shoulders. Yeah. I need y'all to get that this morning because some of us can't go forward because your load too heavy. But I heard Jesus say, Come unto me all. Y'all know the scripture? He says, Your load is too heavy. And sometimes the greatest load you have is the one you love so much. For some reason, the House of Freedom, I can't talk about everybody else's church, but House of Freedom, our children is under attack. Our children is from losing their minds emotionally, spiritually, mentally. They is in a whole nother time zone. Because we ain't never seen it before. We just don't understand. But God said, no, that's just a load I need you to put on my shoulder. You got to learn how to cast your cares upon him. For he cares for you. And you realize when Abraham put it on Isaac's shoulder, Isaac was able to bear it. It ain't nothing too hard for God. Some of us in here got relationship issues that we need to put on God's shoulder. Some of us got doctor reports that we need to put on God's shoulder. He said, I need you to break up with what you're carrying because it's really carrying you. That's where depression comes in at. You get depressed off of what you're carrying because you feel like you're carrying it all by yourself. Anybody, anybody in here, and you can raise your hand if you want to. Don't, don't, don't be ashamed. You're in those judgment zone. Anybody ever been in a crowded room and felt so alone? Anybody ever had depression just creep up on you? And it, 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 it be some days, even myself, I, a spirit just come over me like I just get tired. Ain't nothing even really wrong. You just don't know. It just and then when you when you ask somebody asks you what's wrong, all that you can say is I don't know. And anybody ever been there? Yeah. You 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 be like I just don't know. I was feeling all right yeah. until now. Yeah. And God said it's really because of what you are carrying. That's right. Listen at this. He said the only thing you need to carry is your fire and your knife. Uh, yeah. Listen at this. When he gave over the wood. And put it on Isaac. Only thing Abraham kept was the fire. Yeah. Remember, I preached that last couple weeks ago. You got to keep the fire burning. Yes, yeah. yes, he kept his fire and his sword. Yeah. All right. 
That's the only thing you need. You need the Holy Spirit and the Word of God. I wish somebody would catch that there. Because when you have the Holy Spirit and the Word of God, it don't matter what the enemy does. The enemy will come in one way, but he'll leave out seven different ways. The Bible said he'll make your enemies your footstool. When you have the Word of God and the Holy Spirit in your body, you will realize that if God truly be for you, then who in the world can be against you? When you really have the Word of God, you'll realize weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the in the morning. I realize when you really have God's Word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there ain't no devil in hell can stop you. I'm going to close with this here. I realize my people that God's word is better than money. We got to get there. We need your faith to get there. I realize that even in the midst of me not having no money in my pocket, yeah. I got a word in my mouth. Yeah. Oh, Lord. What that see? <laughs> I realize it ain't, the money, it ain't the money that's getting me what I need in my life. But I found out it's nobody but the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Why you say that, preacher? Because everything that I'm dealing with in my life, yeah. money can't even help me. Because out of all the chaos that I have, I need a little more peace in my life. Yeah. And I heard in the word that Jesus is the prince of peace. I wonder if there's anybody in here that says that when I call him, he'll show up right on time. Can I preach just a minute? When I realize when I have sickness in my body, I ain't even got enough money for the dog. But I can go to the scripture and realize he's been wounded for my transgression. He was bruised for my iniquities. And the chastisement of my peace was upon him. And with his stripes, I'm healed. Can you look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, can't nobody do me like Jesus? Can't nobody do me like the Lord? When I was sick and I couldn't get well, he healed my body. Now I can tell that it was nobody but the Lord. Is there anybody in here that can say it was nobody but the Lord and all the liquor you drunk? It was nobody but the Lord and all the drugs you smoke. It was nobody but the Lord and out of all, all the medicine you take. It's nobody. Your neighbor say nobody. Well, I can't find nobody. I searched all over, couldn't find nobody. I searched high and low, couldn't find nobody. I looked for my mama, she couldn't do it. I looked for my daddy. But some glad moment when I had just about enough, I called on Jesus who stepped right in. When I thought he was late, he was right on time. I wonder if there's anybody in here that God stepped on in right on time. I ain't preaching. <laughs>
He says, but you got to break it. Yes. Break up to make up. Yes. Yes. What are you making up? You got to break up down here. Yes. So I can make it up there. Yes. Why do you need to make it up there? I'm glad you asked, Sylvester. That's great. Yes. Great hey. question. <laughs> Because the Bible says in verse 13, yeah. when Abraham got up there mm -hmm. with Isaac, uh -huh. he saw a ram in the bush. It's already in the bush. Yeah. Yeah. The only way we can make it up this mountain. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now you, you, you look real deep in there. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord ain't through with you yet. <laughs> what can wash away my sin? Ooh, low. <laughs> notice this. Brother Daughter, notice this. Abraham, the only way and only reason why Abraham had to go up to the mountain was because of Isaac. Right, right, that's right. I don't know why we keep asking Christ out of everything. Because the only reason why he had to go up there was to sacrifice Isaac. The only way you can make it up this mountain, you got to have Jesus with you. But in order to get Jesus by himself, you don't need all them titles, y'all catch that. Come on, sir. You don't need a large crowd. You don't even need a mic in your hand. You don't need all this. You need all that glamorous stuff. He said, the only thing you need, just give me Jesus. He said, leave the servants, yeah. leave the donkey, yeah. leave all that right there. Yeah. And me and the boy yeah. going up. Yeah. 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 I used to pay attention in school. Woo. Some days. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the days I was there, I believe I was in science class, and they told me what goes up. Y'all gotta learn how to prophesy with your own life that when I give praises, listen, listen to what Abraham said. Abraham said, We going up, but we gonna be right back. Y'all listen. He said, Me and Jesus, we going up, but we gonna be right back. That means we going up to get what we need and we coming right back. That means you want to take five seconds to tell your haters, keep looking, because I ain't going to be like this always. I'm going up here to get my joy. I'm going up here to get my peace. I'm going up here to get my love. I'm going up here to get my makeover. And I'm going to be right back and show up to the world. Y'all yeah. just sit right here for a minute. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to be right back. That's why God said, I need you to let me go. Let them stay there. Yeah. You need to keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Even your time is coming. Yeah. 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 Don't go in there talking about real say break up with you. I ain't say that. What I'm saying spiritually is don't let nothing hinder you when God does show you your top. Don't get, don't stop till you get there. He said, if you don't want to go, look at you and the donkey. In, in the Bible, they call him ass. You ain't all the asses you want to be. Y'all can't study the better you a jack, a rabbit. Whatever you want to be, y'all stay there. Yeah. Me and the boy. Yeah. Me and my Jesus. Uh -huh. I ain't say me and your Jesus. Because me and y'all, I don't know your Jesus, but I know my Jesus. Yeah. That's why, I don't, 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 don't judge me because I live my life a certain way. I know Jesus for me, and you know Jesus for you. So the Jesus for me say, I can come to him as I am, but the Jesus for you say, I got to learn him, I got to wear a suit, I got to do this here, I got to be tradition, I got to have every program, but the Jesus in me say, come to you as I am. I can be wounded, I can be weary, I can be on drugs, I can be on alcohol, and he'll take me right where I am. He'll take me right where I am.
And Isaac got us up on the mountain. Yeah. Ain't it something? Well, grandma them had a song for everything. Yeah. There's so much in this message. He had a song for everything. Yeah. Because while they're walking our way, Isaac go to talking. Mm -hmm. See, when Jesus is in your life, he walks with you. Yeah. He talks with you. Yeah. He says, he says, well, where's the sacrifice? He is communicating with Abram. Yeah. When you have Christ in your life, he gonna talk to you. He gonna say, no, don't. You don't need to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. God gonna tell you he ain't no good. Yeah, that's right. But you can let your flesh talk back to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. That's why little Ray Ray around here. But what happened was <laughs> Jesus has it talking to him. And he got up there and they saw the ram uh -huh. in the bush. Yes. And the Bible says he took the ram. Yeah. Notice the ram was already up there. Yes. I know who I'm talking to, but your victory right. is already done. Right. Only thing God wants you to do is get from your valley and get in place. If you get in place, you will see that God can already provide it for you. Do you know why you can't get your blessing? Because you won't get in place. Notice what happened. I told you I didn't preach. Hold on. I need you to get this. This is a breakthrough for you. Notice this. The Bible says they named that place Jehovah Jireh. Y'all know how crazy we is. We named God Jehovah Jireh. God's name is not Jehovah Jireh. God named that place Jehovah Jireh. That means if you need God to provide, you need to get in place. You can't be out of place and expect to see your ram. No, the ram is where it need to be. You need to get where you need to be. Right, and your heart can handle it. 
God would have gave all those a million dollars right now, we'd be dead. I know I would. <laughs> I'll be trying to, I'd be in the zoo trying to buy a tiger. <laughs> Back in the streets, and you know, back before Christ, if I gave a million dollars, then I smoked it up and I've been dead somewhere. But God gives us what we need in His timing and when we can handle it. Some days we pray to God for you can't handle it. That's why He's testing your faith because He tested the structure of what you can handle. And you handle everything not with your hands, you handle everything with your faith. In your faith is what you handle everything. Yeah. Your faith is believing what God can do for your life. Yeah. Can we all stand? He said you got to break up to make it. Maybe someone here today that need Christ. That don't know the Lord in the pardons of his sins. Somebody need to be saved. Somebody need to be restored. Somebody need to be renewed. I want to offer Christ to you now. You see, you can't go up this mountain. You can't climb this mountain by yourself. The mountain represents your life. You cannot live this life and be effective and grateful without having Christ with you. With every one of them saying, I need to be saved. And somebody today saying, I need to be delivered. And somebody today saying, I need a change in my life. Change is good. Every year I look back over my life from last year and I don't want to be the same person I was last year or this year. And lately I've been even going by month to month. I don't want to be the same person I was last month this month. Some of us need to go day to day and say, I don't want to be the same person I was yesterday, today. And this is what God does. He helps bring a change about our lives. Whatever we want today. Saying I need Jesus. Said I need to be saved. Saying I need to get for real with God. Some of, some of our relationship with folks that's right here today, some of our relationship with God is not as strong as it should be. Some of us take for granted the power of God, so it makes us powerless. But you're more than a conqueror. Christ Jesus. You are more than your circumstances. You are more than your bank account. You are more than the degrees behind your name. You are more than what you're facing. Because God is more. Great is he that's in me than he that's in the world. If you need a church home today, I want to offer House of Freedom to you. We're not a perfect church, but we serve a perfect God. And somebody today say, Pastor, I want to join the church. I need a new start. I need a restart. I need, I need God to help me. Anything that's not covered can't do nothing but fall. This is the season where you need to be connected. You need to be covered. You need somebody praying for you. You need somebody that's in your life that's going to help you through. Because this journey is a hard journey to go along. That's the purpose of a ministry. Whatever you want today, say, I need you. I need a church home. I want to offer Christ to you. I want to offer House of Freedom to you. We ask that you come at this time. Let your first step be your best step. We're a church that believe in no judgment. We're a church that believe that God will do the work. We don't try to play the Holy Spirit. We don't try to dictate people's lives because nobody in here got a heaven or hell to put anybody in. We love on you right where you are because we know God did it for us. 
He can do it for you. With everyone today. God brought you here for a reason. He brought you here to get connected. He brought you here to get what you need. one job to go through the earth looking at who he may destroy. And I realize the devil always pick on the weak. The weak in mind, the weak in spirit. The ones that try their best but they just ain't just ain't as strong as the other person. And so the devil's team to hit the most important things in your life. I realize even in my own self that the devil can't hit my finances no more because I've been broke all my life. So being in a recession and being broke, it ain't nothing new, so you can't affect me with that. When you start messing with my kids, that's something different. When you start messing in my marriage, that's something different. When you start messing in our church, that's something different. And so the devil hit areas that he know will affect you because some things he used to do will have no effect on you no more. The devil can't wave certain things in your face because you ain't biting on it no more. Some of us used to be naive and the devil just wave anything in your face and you fall for it. We ain't falling for things like that no more. So the devil now went home and got more demons. He now went back and got stronger demons. He now went back and got stronger things. Now he's coming back with more attacks. That's why we got a band together. One can chase a thousand, two can put 10,000 to flight. We need each other. Most of all, we all need Christ. There anyone else in here that need prayer, I want you to come down. I want you to come down. She said, Lord, help me. Because this, what I'm dealing with is out of control. It's out of my hands. Lord, I need you to help me with what I'm dealing with. God need to help your mind. He need to help your peace. He need to protect your joy. Because the world is doing what it was created to do. The devil is doing what he was created to do. We ask God today to help you. I realize we're in a season where you got to you got to live for you. 
Nobody gonna love you like you love you. And quit expecting you out of other people. When people show you who they are, I always tell y'all, act accordingly. Let's pray. Can we lift our hands? I don't want you to think you a bad parent. I don't want you to think that you a bad person. I don't want you to think that you're a failure. This can't happen and that can't be done. What you're dealing with is because of who you are. The devil know your potential. He know your purpose. He know the Jesus that sent you. So he come to steal, kill, and destroy because he know if you ever break loose, if you ever tap into your full potential, you will have the ability to tear his kingdom down. I want us to pray. I want you to pray with me. I want you to pray. You know what you stand in need of. You know what you're asking God for. God is here. He hears your tears. He, he hears your prayers. He sees what you're going through. He just wants you to let it go. God cannot handle it if your hand is still on it. You got to let your hands off it so God can get a grip on it. Father, we thank you. We worship you in the spirit. We worship you in the holies of holy. We worship you even in the valley. We worship you in our mountain experience. God, we worship you in our good times. We worship you even in our bad times. We worship you when we're up, God, and we worship you when we're down. But we come today, God, just to praise your holy name. You said when the praises go up, the blessings come down. Everybody in here is standing in need of a blessing from you right now. God, we surrender all. We surrender all to you, God. We surrender everything about our lives. We surrender our heart. We surrender our mind. We surrender our faith. We surrender our children. We surrender our houses, our marriages. We surrender all, God. We can't make it. We can't make it, we can't do it. We can't live without you. Isn't you that we live, we move, we have our being. God, we need a new start. We need a refresh start. We need a move today. We're tired of crying. We're tired of being sick and tired. We're tired of going through what we're going through. God, we need for you to do what only you can do. We're tired of being stabbed in our back. We're tired of being hurt. We're tired of the sleepless nights. We're tired of the heavy heart pillows. We're tired of the loneliness. We're tired today. God, but you said even in our tired moment, you will give us rest. God, I pray that you will give rest today. That you will rest what we are dealing with. God, I pray that you will arrest us and give us rest. Arrest us in the spirit. Arrest us in our minds. Arrest us. Let us know that you are truly for us. That you is the way, the truth, and the life. I pray today against every mental issue. This is a mental battle we're dealing with. This is a mindset, a battle of choices that need to be made. But I pray that we choose you this day. Who we gonna serve? We got to learn how to choose to serve the Lord. It's a choice between life and death. And I choose to live today. We choose to live today. We choose through all the hurt, we gonna live. We choose through all the backbite, we gonna live. We choose through all the depression and anxiety, we gonna live. We gonna live today and declare the glory of the Lord. We choose to live. We lose freedom today. We lose liberty today. We lose life today. We shall live. I say live today. Live today. Live today. If it didn't already kill you, it only came to make you stronger. Live today. Live today. You are a mighty warrior in Christ. You are more than a conqueror. You are better than what it looks like. You are better than what your body feels like. You are better than what the doctor 
say. You are better than what your mama them call you. You are better than what your parents say. You are better. You are better. You are better in Christ Jesus God that made you a new creature. You are better than that walk in what God says. Walk in your healing. Walk in your deliverance. Walk in being better. Walk in being healed. Walk out right. Lift your head up. All you gates and be you lifted up to everlasting doors and the king of glory who shall come in. Who is the king of glory? The Lord. Strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Ain't nobody do us like Jesus. Lord, I thank you. We shall live. Victory is ours. Victory is ours. We are born to overcome. We shall be overcome. The blood of Jesus still works. The blood of Jesus still works. Jesus, 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 let your Holy Spirit let it fall in this place. Jesus, 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 say that the Lord rebuke you. Say that the Lord rebuke you. We'll send you back to the midst of hell. Say that the Lord rebuke you. You got to get up out of here. You got to get up out of our children. You got to get up out of our houses. You got to get up out of our homes. You got to get up off our streets. Say it and get me behind us in the name of Jesus. You are better. You are better. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I magnify you. Touch everyone. Touch everyone. Touch everyone on the side of my voice, everybody. That's man the need of you to do. So just don't understand. But God, you, you know what's best for them. Some things happen, it had to happen. You had to go through what you go through. You had to go through what you're going through now. Because God needed you to see what it was. He needed you to see who is who. He needed you to see the value that your life has. Your destiny is greater than what you're going through. God, I thank you. I hear, I hear God saying, I'm rebuilding on what's been destroyed. I'm rebuilding even on the ruins. What's being ruined, I'm rebuilding on. You ain't got to go get no new land. I'm going to rebuild on the land that's already there. It's still some more greatness on the inside of you. God, I thank you. It shall come to heaven. God. Felicia, come here. Come here, Felicia. I'm praying. My prayer for you is that God give you the ability to move on. Your life can't remain stuck. You got to move on. The Lord gave. The Lord take away. But bless me the name of the Lord. It ain't your fault. It's nothing you could have done. It was the Lord's doing. God said he don't need your life to keep being stuck. You got so many dreams, so many things you want to do. But you keep allowing things to hold you back. Listen, you'll never lose him. He's in your heart. He's in your heart. Every memory, every moment is in your heart. That's why when you move forward, you carry him with you. God is doing a new thing. He's giving you the ability to go in rooms and pack up boxes. Things you don't want to get rid of, God said, you got to leave it here. Because where you going, you can't carry it with you. God is touching your heart. He know your love. He know what it meant. But God brought you here today because he said you got to break up. Because it's time to make up. It's 
time to make it up this mountain. It's time to get where you need to go. You got so much more life to live. And with God, you're going to do it. Every business going to come to pass. The house going to be just as perfect. And you had to sell the old so God will help you walk in your new. You thought it was being fearful. No, God said, I need to get the old off you so you'll walk in who you really are. Every deal that needs to be closed is will be closed. Every business is going to open. Every financial need you need, God already prepared. Listen, the ram is already in the bush. It just needs you to get there. God is going to cover your children. Even your daughter, she don't make the right decisions, but God got a hand on her. She ain't going to die. She ain't going to go to jail. She going to get everything she needs. In Jesus' name. Thank you today. You know, you did everything you knew how to do. You got to let God handle this one. This mail is not your mail. You need to put it back in the envelope, put it back in the mailbox, and return it back to sin. Because only God can help with this one. Don't let this kill you. Because you're no good if you lay in the grave. I pray for peace. I pray for you sleeping at night. I pray for your blood pressure to come down. I pray for your anxiety to get under control. I pray for your stress level to leave. You a great parent. You have done your best. You got him out of school. You gave him directions. He chose in this way. God is going to give it to him. God is going to heal him. God is going to turn him around. He just got to learn how to see Jesus. Even in the midst of what he's doing. And because of your prayers, God is going to take care of him. God, I thank you. I even pray for your father today. I pray God to give him strength. Touch every organ in his body. His mindset. Let him get closer to God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Can we give God a hand clap? We can do for a night. But Joe, he comes in the morning. Can I pray for you? Hold on quick. No one pray. Listen, I don't, I don't know you. Do I know you? I just want to pray for you because you are so misunderstood. So much under all of that. Keep with your hands from me.
she got a testimony that's out of this world. If anybody want to ever know what a miracle looked like, she's one of them. God, I thank you today, Lord God, because she's here crying out to you. She realizing that she needs you, Lord. And she's been crying out for a while. It's been nice. She's in her bed by herself. She at home, sitting in the car, trying to figure out why is my life like this? Some days she contemplating and just ending it all. Well off dead than being alive. God, but you say she said live. God, I touch and agree with her. And everything need to be bind. We bind it now. Every inch of her life, we bind it now. She try to hide behind clothes and hide behind smiles and hide behind looks and hang out with the crowd. She don't even want to hang out like that no more, but she feel like this is all I have. Bro, but you're doing a new thing in her life. You got to get her some new friends. You got to get her a new family. You got to get her all the new things in life. She will have a new walk, a new smile, a new way of talking. You making the crooked places straight. Put water in her desert. God, I pray for every secret prayer she prayed to you. The secret is of her heart. You answer it today. God, she needs you. She's in a life or death situation. She needs you. This is this is way serious than what it looks like. She needs you, Lord. And forgive her. Forgive her her sins. Because some of them she do. She don't even realize she's doing it. It's just so normal. But you're even changing the, the direction of what seems to be normal. You're changing the narratives of her life. I know her mom and them did it. Her aunties and cousins and family did it. But she shall be different. She will let her light shine so bright so that when they see her, they will glorify the Lord. It is so. Change is here. Freedom is here. No more bondage. No more change. Freedom is here. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I know we got to go. But I want y'all to do me one more thing. Come here, Prince. I want y'all to wait, Jermaine. Come here. Come here, Deacon Jermaine. Come here, Deacon. Come here, Deacon. Uh, Deacon Dodger. Come here. Come here, Stanley. Quick, call it down real quick and come here. Barry, y'all come here. Come here. Y'all get off there. Come here. Bring all the boys up here. Bring that seat so he can sit down. Bring all them boys up here. Come here, little homie. Yeah, come on up here. Barry, get down here. Could the devil been playing with your mind as well? Jesus, he would not have you. Yes, yes, yes. Listen, I want, I want to bring him around this, this, this year, man. He left because he got shot last night. Oh, my God. Up in Statesboro. Y'all not read about it. He was at a pool party. The boy put out a gun bigger than himself. This is what the enemy trying to do. I love this young man like a son. He been dating my daughter. And I ain't killed him yet, so he cool. Oh, Jesus. Okay, guys, I got to shut this down. I can't but last night, he and my daughter cried. The first thing I thought about, 